Yo, you know about VO3? Yeah, man, it is crazy good. But I heard it is not easy to use. Not really. I found a video that shows exactly how to use it. VO3 creates high quality clips and also generates sound like dialogue or music. Oh, that's just perfect. That's why it's considered one of the best video AI models right now. But if you've never tried it yourself, it's not very clear where to start or how much it actually costs. That's why in this video, I will show you where you can use it and the most affordable and even free ways to get started with VO3. The official way to use it is through Flow under a Google AI subscription. On the surface, it seems very pricey especially with the ultra plan at $250 a month but that's not the only option you can also find veo3 on other platforms at different prices i've tested dozens of them and i've shortlisted three platforms that stand out for their stability ease of use and reasonable pricing and each of them has its own strengths i'll break them down one by one and later in the video i will also share tips on how to prompt how to keep characters and voices consistent, and how to generate those viral VO3 videos you've probably seen online. Like day never skips me. <laughs> Before we get into that, with VO3, you can generate in two modes, VO3 standard or quality and VO3 fast. Standard gives you higher quality, but costs more and takes a little bit longer to generate, while fast is quicker, cheaper, and with slightly lower quality. Both models can output in 1080p and the clips are 8 seconds long. If you don't want to pay for a subscription to use VO3, FAL.AI is your simplest option. It also includes a bunch of other AI apps and workflows that you can use on the same platform. The UI is very straightforward and easy to use. To start, you just go to the Explore tab, search for VO3 and then open one of the results that says VO3. Here you can do both text to video and image to video and you can choose standard or fast. The cost is shown on the generation page itself. Doing the math it works out to $6 for VO3 standard and $3.20 for VO3 fast. Past clips usually generate in about 2 minutes. You can also buy extra tokens to top up your balance. FAL is ideal if you want to test what VO3 can do or if you just need a one-off video for a project that you're working on. So while a bit pricey, it's quick to access and very easy to use. Now if you want to go beyond just testing VO3, FAL becomes a very expensive option. So you might want to consider using Invato Elements. This one becomes interesting because it's not just about AI video. It's about what you get under one subscription. Invato has a huge creative library that includes templates, stock video, audio, and even 3D assets. And VO3 sits right alongside all of those resources under the same subscription. To use it, just go to the Gen AI menu and look for Video Gen. Now there are a few things to keep in mind here. If you're doing text to video and you want dialogue, make sure you enable the speech option before you generate. Otherwise, you will end up with audio that doesn't make any sense. For image to video, you can either generate a base image directly in Envato or upload your own and animate it. One of the limitations here is that brand names and copyrighted keywords are blocked. So you will need to keep prompts generic or you may see an error. And the output here is capped at 720p so there is no 1080p option. It also seems like Envato is only using VO3 fast under the hood, just judging from how quickly the clips render. In terms of pricing, you can actually try it for free and get five VO3 videos, but with a subscription, which costs $17.99, or $16.50 if you pay annually, you get 30 VO3 generations per month, but there is no option to buy extra generations once you hit the limit. The cost per video is about 55 cents on the annual plan. Realistically, this is really good, especially when you consider that you're also getting access to Envato's massive library. This makes it a great option if you regularly use stock footage in your projects and every now and then want to generate some AI clips. Another subscription-based platform that could make sense for many of you, especially if you're already using AI in your creative process, is open art. You've got a bunch of tools for images, the ability to train your own custom characters, and access to over a hundred different image models like Flux and many others. Now to actually find VO3 here, from the home page, you head to the video section on the left hand side. Once you open that, you will see a list of models including Kling AI, Cdance, Helio AI, and of course, VO3. From there, you can choose between image to video or text to video. Both allow you to generate with or without audio and generations are quite fast here as well. As for pricing, VO3 standard costs 2,500 credits per generation 
while fast costs 1500 the advanced plan for example is 29 dollars a month and gives you 12,000 credits that's up to eight fast videos or four standard ones it sounds too little but you can also buy additional credits and generate more if you're using veo3 fast that comes down to about three dollars and sixty cents per video sounds a bit high yes but if you go for the annual plan while the 50 percent offer is still active the cost per fast video is cut in half to about a dollar and 80 cents each if you're someone who does a lot of ai creation and only occasionally needs ai video open art is a no-brainer i've personally used it a lot in my own projects and i even made a full video about it where you will also find a 20 percent discount code to make your generations even cheaper now if you've been enjoying this breakdown so far and want to see more beginner friendly videos like this make sure to subscribe okay but what about flow why would anyone pay so much money to use it at first glance it feels like the most expensive option out there the ultra subscription is 250 $50 a month. But here's the thing, the pro plan costs only $20 a month. I've subscribed to that. So let's see what's included. To use Flow, just go to this link, log in with your Google account, and you will land on the Flow dashboard. The UI is super simple. You can click here to start a new project and everything lives on a single page. You've got text to video. And when you're writing prompts here, it helps to follow a structure that includes subject, context, action, style, camera motion, composition and ambience if you want audio you can add dialogue music or sound effects use present tense and one to three sentences is usually enough and here is a tip add no subtitles at the end of your prompt so you don't get random subtitles showing up in your clips and avoid brand names like pixar or lego because flow blocks those instead use broader styles like animated style or 3d animation it's worth pointing out this simple setup is already enough to create the kind of viral videos you've seen online such as street interviews vlog style clips brand reveal ads comedy skits that sort of thing i'll leave a link to some popular prompt templates in the description so you can try them out and customize them yourself of course there are more advanced ways to get super specific results using methods like json prompting but that's a whole separate topic if that's something you'd like me to dive deeper into in a separate video let me know in the comments once you've written your prompt you can pick the video model then just click generate the speed here isn't all that different compared to the other platforms so at this point nothing really stands out yet now where flows starts to feel a bit more unique is with frames to video where you can set both a start frame and an end frame that's something most of the other platforms don't let you do you also get custom camera controls which gives you a bit more precision with motion using image inputs is also really important if you care about consistency one option is to generate multiple images in a tool like midjourney that feature the same character so you can build consistent frames for a short film or a music video another method is using using open art if you're already subscribed you can build custom characters and then generate images that keep their look consistent across different scenes you can then bring those images into veo3 and animate them the only problem is when you generate with audio the voices are often inconsistent between clips that's where tools like 11 labs come in handy they've got a feature called voice changer where you can upload the generated video and replace the voice it keeps the same speech but you can swap in a custom voice voice from their library or even upload your own that way you can maintain consistency in how your characters sound and then you've got ingredient to video this feature lets you upload things like a character an object an environment or even a style reference image to guide the output on paper it sounds amazing because it gives you a lot more control but here's the caveat it only works with VO2 and VO2 has no audio support that can be a bit of a disappointment for people who subscribed expecting to use it with VO3 now let's look at some other features every time you generate a video with VO3 you can hover over it and click on add to scene then switch to the scene builder page 
Inside this interface, you can build on top of your generated video and create more clips into a sequence. So I've got a clip added to the timeline here. And for example, if you click on the plus icon, you will see two options, jump to and extend. The jump to feature looks at how your clip ended and generates a new clip in the scene that is guided by your prompt. The extend option simply makes the same clip longer. Now these features are genuinely useful, but there are limitations. For now, Jump 2 doesn't work with VO3 fast, but it does work with standard. The extend feature, on the other hand, only works with VO2. And remember, VO2 doesn't support audio. That said, Scene Builder does give you a clean and easy to use timeline. You can rearrange the order of your clips and you can download the whole sequence with just one click. I expect Google will expand these features to VO3 in the future, but for now, it's a trade-off. If you don't mind working with VO2, it's still a solid option. Now let's go back to pricing. Google AI, which includes access to Flow, has two main tiers. The Pro plan costs $20 a month and gives you 1000 credits. That means 10 standard videos or 50 fast videos. The first month is free for now and some people have reported there's a daily limit of three videos, although in my own experience, I didn't run into that issue. And if you run out of credits, you can also purchase extras to keep going. Then there's the ultra plan. This one is $125 for the first three months, then jumps to $250 per month after that. It has the same exact features as Pro when it comes to flow, except that it comes with 25,000 credits. That's 500 fast videos. So here's the nuance. Flow might sound like the most expensive option, but when you break it down, the pro plan gives you standard videos at about $2 each and fast videos at around 40 cents. On ultra, the cost per video drops even further. So for heavy users, it's actually one of the cheapest options per video and you get access to other Google AI tools. The trade-off here is that you might hit daily limits and some of the features only work with VO2 instead of VO3. So here's the bottom line. If you just want to test VO3 without committing, file.ai is the quickest option, but it's also the most expensive per video. Invato Elements comes in with the cheapest entry point since you get 30 videos a month for just a few cents each though you're limited to 720p and can't top up. Open art stands out if you use AI frequently and care about creative assets. And then there's flow. If you're generating a lot, it actually works out to be the cheapest per video. So it really depends on what you need. Regardless of where you decide to use Vero3, most importantly, subscribe, stay creative, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.